Welcome to the lectures series uh, T32 series on maintenance and repairs of electrical equipment. Our topic for this particular lecture series is on types of maintenance and repairs of electrical equipment. Now, the aspects that we're going to concern ourselves with for this particular lecture has to do with the concept of maintenance. We're also going to look at the various types of electrical maintenance and repairs. And also we're going to describe some of these maintenance and repairs that we are going to uh, highlight in this lecture series. Now, to start with, take a careful look at the item displayed and report your findings. You can see that there are some electrical equipment items that are being displayed here. So what I expect you to do is look at these items carefully and then report, jot down some of your observations on the basis of what you have seen being displayed on the screen. You can see the items that are being displayed. What are your findings on the basis of these items that were displayed? Now, uh, let's go on to our lecture proper. Uh, before we start, let us look at the purpose of maintenance. Now, before we talked about the purpose of maintenance, of course, let us cast back our mind on what maintenance is all about. Of course, maintenance can simply be defined as the act or process of taking care of any equipment. It may either be electrically or mechanically. And the major something is that you want to prolong the lifespan of such equipment and also to prevent such equipment from sudden or unexpected failure. On the basis of this definition, we can craft out the purpose of maintenance. Of course, the purpose of maintenance on the basis of this simply to maintain the working stress and strain of any machine or any equipment during operation without the fear of any sudden breakdown or accident in this machine. Of course, above all, the essence of the maintenance is also to prolong the lifespan of the equipment or the machine. Now, on the basis of this, there are various approaches by which this uh, maintenance and repairs can be carried out in the workshop or in the industry. Of course, it usually depends upon the nature and objective of the industry. Now, there are various methods by which maintenance can be carried out. The commonest among these methods includes, we have the daily routine maintenance, we have the periodic maintenance, we have the preventive maintenance, we have the corrective maintenance, predictive as well as the turnaround maintenance. Now let us look at each of these maintenance techniques that have been highlighted. The daily routine maintenance, just as the name implies. The daily routine maintenance is the type of maintenance which is carried out on daily basis. In other words, even before the machine is put to use on daily, on everyday basis, you have to look at this machine to make sure that it is in proper condition and it is in proper order. During the daily routine maintenance, the technician or the maintenance officer have to make sure that they check all the contacts, the oil gauge, the relay contact, the circuit breakers as well as the fuses and any other necessary protective parts. It is essential that during the daily routine check, the check cards or record cards should be signed with the full record of all the observations after which the card can now be hung on its normal position. That is what the daily routine maintenance is all about. Let us look at the second type of maintenance, which is the periodic maintenance. Just as the name implies, the periodic maintenance is that type of maintenance which is usually carried out on periodic basis. In other words, it is not on daily basis like in the case of the daily routine maintenance. It can be carried out in an interval of a month, biannually, or even on quarterly basis. Of course, the process usually depends upon the condition or the state of the equipment and on how frequent is this equipment put into service. Now, during the periodic maintenance, the maintenance officer or the technician is expected to make sure that he has thoroughly checked items like the slip rings, the carbon brushes, the bulb bearings, the engine oil plants, the oil filters, the bushings, and so on. Now, it is usual that during the time of this maintenance, a day or two is usually reserved for the maintenance officers who will handle such 
uh, maintenance, it is also common, especially where the industry's line of production is well timed, that a plan to shut down the workshop or even the industry during this period is usually taken out. This is to enable the equipment to receive general overhauling, check all the ways and tear parts on the equipment as well as the machines. Now let us look at the third type of maintenance, which is the preventive maintenance. Because the preventive maintenance is the act of maintenance which involves a much wider dimension than those mentioned earlier, that is, than that of the daily as well as the periodic maintenance. This is because it involves structuring out a program plan by the chief engineer or chief maintenance officer. The maintenance usually covers the buildings of the industry, the utilities, the equipments and machines within the electrical industry. This type of programming or plan out maintenance is usually carried out annually or biannually depending, of course, upon the general state or condition of the industry. Usually, it involves all the technicians, the maintenance officers, and other personnel who are being directed by the chief engineer. Now, during the time of this maintenance, all broken down paths or paths that are being managed, all equipments are usually totally changed and replaced with new ones. Replacement of gauge or oil Lubricating system is also carried out not only on the main machine but also on controlling auxiliary such as starters and panels, even though they are given daily routine or periodic maintenance, which are all carried out during the off duty period. Now, let us look at corrective type of maintenance. Of course, when we talk of corrective type of maintenance, uh, we are, of course, talking about the type of maintenance which involves broken down of equipment. In other words, Corrective involves the after effect of a broken down equipment, which may even be attributed to inadequate or lack of maintenance. It therefore involves the repair work, which is usually carried out on any equipment or component after it has stopped functioning. For instance, if a fuse blows, then the process of tracing the fault and subsequent replacement of a new fuse element is an act of corrective maintenance. Thus, all the repair was carried out on equipment after the breakdown involves corrective maintenance. Let us look at the predictive type of maintenance. Now, for the predictive type of maintenance, just as the name implies, this is concerned with efforts of predicting to try to see whether a fault is pending. So, it involves the use of measuring instruments like meters and all other controlling devices to predict or foresee an impending breakdown in a machine even before it occurs. Usually, this prediction enables the maintenance crew or technicians to reach conclusion as to whether an overhaul of the machine has become necessary. In conclusion, it should once more be remembered that these maintenance are carried out in order to prevent sudden or unexpected breakdown or major repairs. To be effective, records of all types of maintenance carried out should be recorded on the check cards. Now let's look at the turnaround maintenance. In all respects, it is identical to preventive maintenance, that is, it also involves a total overall of the systems, the machines, the equipment, and the building structures just as was the case with preventive. It involves a detailed plan out program to effect this maintenance. However, the major distinction with all other types of maintenance is the fact that it is less frequent than all other types as it may be scheduled for probably once in every five years or even once in a decade. Now, uh, by way of evaluation, what is maintenance all about? then why is it necessary for us to maintain electrical equipment? I also expect you to mention five techniques of maintenance and repairs. Then we want you to enumerate four component parts to be checked on daily basis in the electrical workshop, and then briefly describe the features of predictive maintenance. Now by way of conclusion, we have so far at this lecture series explained the concept of maintenance. We have also enumerated the various types of maintenance that we said are commonly available in the electrical industry and some of these maintenance we say includes the daily routine maintenance, the periodic maintenance, the preventive maintenance, the corrective maintenance, the predictive maintenance as well as the turnaround maintenance. Of course each of these maintenance, the features associated with each, with each of these maintenance have also been discussed in this lecture series. Now we're going to have this as our take-home assignment and that is one, you should explain the following types of maintenance with examples. Preventive maintenance, periodic maintenance, as well as predictive maintenance. I expect you to send the answers to these questions through my email, which is adamojaba at gmail.com. Thank you for listening.